There's just no denying it. It's there in black and white on your grocery receipt. We are paying more and it's impacting family budgets. Yeah, you could call it sticker shock. Production and supply chain issues are driving the prices up. And even if the price isn't higher, you might still be paying more. So new this morning, John Shumway is here to explain and has some ideas on saving money for you. When a retailer is charged more for a product, chances are you're going to be paying more too. Some companies have been uh, eating those costs for a while, and I think now it's to the point where they have to pass some of them along. And that is just what we are seeing. With all types of items in the store and literally every aisle of the supermarket. Pip marketing professor Jeff Inman says raising the price at the store is a delicate balance. But it can't happen too much or you'll negatively impact the customers. Consumer advocate Mary Box says sometimes the price is not what's changing. They are not actually raising the shelf price on the item, but we are paying more because we are simply getting less in the container. And that is literally rampant right now. So she says, read carefully how much you are actually getting and maybe reconsider your shopping habits. We have to just be very, very careful about where we're shopping, what we are buying. Bach likes to say, eat the bargains. And we need to eat items that are really available seasonally, where we can get uh, locally grown items at a very fair price. And if you have a little bit of storage room and something is on sale. Stock up to get you through to the next sale. And box says take advantage of coupons. As for buying big box like going to Costco or Sam's, Mary Box says be careful about doing that. Bigger isn't always better, especially if you don't use the quantity you purchased before it goes bad. And again, there is some level of optimism that this surge in food prices is going to back down before the end of the year, barring another COVID shutdown. All right, some good news at yeah. the end there. Well, we thought the same thing about car sales, and he was just talking about that last week. They thought it was going to be fine by the fall, and not so Hasn't much. Hasn't happened yet. No, no. All right, well, thank you, John.